Good morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Good morning, everyone. How is everyone this morning? Hallelujah. I am thankful. Hallelujah. That the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. This very morning, and I am excited. Hallelujah. About our time together this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, God. Thank you, Lord, for who and whose we are. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I am Dr. Patricia Marino, artist, author, mentor coach. Hallelujah. I thank the Lord. Hallelujah. For all the different ways he is allowing me to continue to, to, to bear influence and give back. And I'm so grateful today for to be among those ministering on this wonderful uh, uh platform of the Black Women Empowered Incorporated Hallelujah Network. And I'm thankful, hallelujah, for CEO and founder, Jack, Dr. Jacqueline R. King, hallelujah, and her patient grace and and, and for her persistence in, in, in bringing uh, uh, our uh, commitment to even a higher level. And I'm just thankful to the Lord this morning. Pray God's blessing upon all those who help us to uh, this opportunity to be available uh, for those of us who are uh, uh, God's ministers. Hallelujah. And for those uh, in the name of Jesus led to come on board and join with us. Hallelujah. An expectation of being blessed of the Lord at the start of this day and work week. And so we uh, want to uh, just take an opportunity. I'm thankful for those uh, uh, joining us already this morning. Hallelujah. Just thankful to the Lord for uh, those who traveled this weekend for uh, safe passage and who are now uh, uh, ready to pursue their tasks for the week. And just we want to begin, uh, I believe, with prayer that is topped with co communion. And uh, if you have uh, joined me before, you may have your cup of blessing with you. I, uh, I like pretty things, so I just choose a, a little cup and have my uh, cracker that represents the, the blood of Jesus. And so uh, let us begin, uh, Carolyn and, and Karen, let us begin with our communion. Uh, before the Lord, and we just want to, uh, when uh, the communion is a, Jesus laid down his life for us 2,000 years ago, he laid his life down, uh, he said, Father, if it be thy will, let this cup, when he was facing crucifixion, he said, let it pass from me, and yet, enduring hardness in a sense like a good soldier he said nevertheless not my will but thine be done and with that he gave up hallelujah he gave his life for us hallelujah so that we could have a, a, a right to the tree of life and so we come this morning hallelujah beginning our time with prayer beginning our body with a little piece of cracker to represent the blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And uh, I don't know why it didn't occur to me sooner, but I saw someone actually break the communion bread. I just never noticed the principle before, but his body was broken for us. Let us take then as a representation, remembering almost a re, a bringing back together. We are remembering the sacrifice of Jesus to our hearts, ourselves, our spirits. Let us remember in obedience that his body was indeed broken for us. Thank you, God. Mm. Feeling the presence, the presence of the Lord. Thank you. And his blood being shed for us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Because we cannot do this alone. We cannot walk this journey by ourselves and we don't have, hallelujah, the righteousness of our, in and of ourselves, hallelujah, to go before the throne room of grace, to find the, the help that we need in, in this time, these troubled times. 
the blood of our Savior, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you, God. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. We thank you this morning. Hallelujah. That the cup of blessing, according to 1 Corinthians 10 and 16, that the cup of blessing, which we bless, we bless our cup. We bless it. In the name of Jesus, it is it not the communion, hallelujah. We do it as an act of faith and, and communion with the blood of Christ, hallelujah. We take it unto ourselves that when he did it, he did it for us personally, hallelujah. And those for whom we stand in the gap, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, because we're not just looking out for ourselves. And Lord, the blood, the, the bread that we just took, the bread, and we broke it, Lord, uh, we broke it. Hallelujah. Is it not the communion of the body of Christ? So we're standing on your word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We are commandment um, remembering. Hallelujah. Covenant keeping, commandment remembering doers of the word, according to Psalms 103. Covenant keeping, commandment remembering doers of the word. We're not just here to say, oh, that sounds nice. We are doers of the word so that we don't deceive ourselves. And we thank you, God, for that this morning. Hallelujah. We thank you for that grace. We thank you for that mindfulness. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your presence. We thank you, Lord, for uh, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, you are not only seated at the right hand of the Father, hallelujah. You are not only there and we are in you. We hallelujah we believe and declare that we are in you and you are in us so we are also in the heaven that's our position in the heavenlies we are seated at the right hand of the father in our lord and savior jesus christ hallelujah so second corinthians 13 and 4 when it says the grace of our lord jesus christ that's a grace hallelujah i am uh, uh privileged and and blessed and thankful hallelujah and 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 my, it makes my heart rejoice that god loved us that much that he graced us uh with uh with the lord jesus christ with jesus grace he gave us jesus and that gives us grace and the love of god god's love hallelujah he did not spare his own son did he oh he delivered jesus up for us all He's not a respecter of persons. He delivered Jesus, his only begotten son, for us all. And he, um, and then we also have communion of the Holy Spirit. How can we lose? We have Jesus' grace, the Father's love for us. Thank you for your loving embrace, Father God. Thank you for remembering us. Hallelujah. Thank you for our right to the tree of life. Hallelujah. We need you this morning, Lord God, and we thank you for grateful hearts. We thank you in the name of Jesus for joy, Holy Spirit, that you bring into our lives. We are not waiting for situations and circumstances. We thank you for our prayers making the difference, and you promise us that they do, that they are a sweet smelling savor. Hallelujah. Be thrown before the throne of God. But we also thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you for your communion with us, that you are here on this earth with us. Hallelujah. Yes, we're seated in the heavenlies in the Lord Jesus Christ at the right hand of the Father. Hallelujah. With his right hand, Father God's right hand and holy arm, getting us the victory. But we thank you, Holy Spirit, for communion with, with us right here in this plane. And we thank you for that. And as it says in Ephesians 1 and 7, in whom we have redemption. That's where we get our redemption. And I love communion because it reminds me, I know I'm saved. I know. But I, I believe in, uh, I think it was David that encouraged himself in the Lord. This is some of what we, we need to set our minds, hallelujah, because if the, if we leave any little opening, you know, the enemy, and we wink at something that we shouldn't wink at, the, the enemy, he he's watching us. He'll find a way to try to get into this in and discourage us in some way or for some reason. And so in whom we have redemption. 
through Jesus' blood. It's through Jesus' blood. We have redemption. And we have the forgiveness of sins. Hallelujah. According to the riches of his grace. And when we have that forgiveness of our sins, it silences the voice of the enemy. Hallelujah. It stops the voice of the accuser. Hallelujah. We're not pretending and we're not faking. Hallelujah. And we thank the Lord for his rebuke right now. Hallelujah. On the devourer for our sakes. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God. He's a sneaky snake. The devil is sneaky. His minions are sneaky, Lord God. And they try to catch us, they, they get us distracted and all flustered and worried about this coronavirus or, 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 or peaceful demonstrations while the city burns behind it. Lord, he wants us distracted so that we miss the riches of your grace. Well, we make the devil a liar. We boldly believe and confidently declare Hallelujah. Thank you. That our, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Hallelujah. We have a part to play. Oh, yes, we do. We are too. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. There are things we must pray. Hallelujah. That we must say, Holy Spirit, tag team, you're on this one. This one is too much for me. But we have a part to play. We are to pull down strongholds. Hallelujah. And that's why God tells us. Hallelujah. Part of our focus for today, hallelujah, is that we're looking at uh, the armor of God. And with that army, hallelujah, with that armor, the armor of God, with it, we become, and we are positioned, I believe, to become God's um, uh, agents of God's hand, like he did with Ezekiel. He put his hand on Ezekiel. Hallelujah. There's a place in the scripture that talks about the weight of God's hand. And Ezekiel, I know it was in the spirit, but I'll bet you Ezekiel felt that thing. He felt the weight of God's hand on him. Hallelujah. Because then God led him out, didn't he? He led him out in the spirit, led him out in the spirit. And this, I believe in principle, must be our, uh, our heart's Focus our heart's desire. We want, hallelujah, to be in position for God to lay his hand on us, hallelujah, and have his hand on us. We don't want him to have to hit us or we don't, certainly, I know I don't. I don't want him to pass me by. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So we thank you, Lord, for communion this morning. We thank you, Lord, for the blood of the lamb, hallelujah, and declare, hallelujah, that we lay our lives down. We lay them down this time with you, Father God. Hallelujah. In, commun in community with one another. Hallelujah. is an aspect and a sincere representation of laying our lives down under the empowerment of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Because it allows us to, to, uh, to, to place, hallelujah, to be in a place where because of Jesus' blood, we stand in a place of righteousness. Hallelujah. We can come boldly to the throne of mercy. Oh, hallelujah. Make you want to dance and run around here. We can come boldly. Hallelujah. We don't have to be ashamed and we don't have to, uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, feel guilty. Like we don't have a right because we did this yesterday and that. Oh no, we shared all that. Hallelujah. We come. Hallelujah. As, because our righteousness is as filthy rags. And we thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for every bit of repentance. We repent from, from, from sins of commission and omission. We come hold humbly. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And we just thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're believing you for great things in our, in our workplace. We are believing you, hallelujah, for great things. Hallelujah. Believing you for your manifestation in this hour. Hall believing you for your manifestation this week, Lord, right here. This week, right here. Hallelujah. I'm bold enough to say, Lord, I'm, I'm asking you for at least three. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. This is harvest time. This right here, this is harvest time because the devil, if we think he's going to roll over and play dead because he sees, so, oh, he's getting serious. He did get into, oh, let me stick this one with a pen so they'll flare up and, 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 and get our attention and, and distract us from our focus on that which God has for us. Lord, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you for the authority of the blood. We thank you for the authority of the name of Jesus. You promise us 
that when we gather together, hallelujah, when we agree, hallelujah, when we take communion, we touch and agree. There's touching anything, hallelujah. We got situations. I don't know about you, I got situations and circumstances that we need, hallelujah. And I believe in God and his power, oh, hallelujah, thank you, Lord. And, and, and so the blood of Jesus, we touch and agree, hallelujah. I stand with you in my faith, hallelujah. Believe in God, hallelujah, that this is harvest time right here, hallelujah. This is harvest time right here. We boldly believe it and confidently declare it because we take our communion seriously, and we take the opportunities that are provided for us. We can't go to church, and maybe as much as we would like to, and fellowship in person, and face to face with the saints, hallelujah. And if we do, we probably got to stay distance, and all of that. And then we got masks around our mouths, so that you can't really see people's faces. I have to, on purpose, say, tell people, I said, Man, can I see your eyes? And I ask people just to make eye contact with me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Because that is a part of the limitation that the enemy, it, it, he wants to shroud us from, from uh, being in, in touch and, in, and having, uh, being in a place where we can have the bowels of compassion and, 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 and empathy, hallelujah, for one another. And so we thank you, Lord. We thank you for the blood of the everlasting covenant. covenant. We thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I want to, hallelujah, thank you so, hallelujah, isn't that wonderful how the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, just uh, comes in and just, it just sits down with us, hallelujah, thank you, Lord, and lets us know, hallelujah, that we are not alone, oh, no, 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 we have Holy Spirit. Uh, interceding for us. Check out Romans 8. He's interceding for us at the right, at, he's interceding for us with, because we don't necessarily know what to pray for in the situations that, that, that are coming against us or that we need to be offensive against. We don't necessarily know what to pray for. We might see it. Ah, oh, hallelujah. But we have Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you for that. We have Holy Spirit to intercede for us. And we also have our Lord and Savior, Jesus. Hallelujah. In the throne room, mediating for us. Hallelujah. Because the blood is there speaking for us. The blood is right there speaking for us. The blood of Jesus has a voice. Hallelujah. In the courts of heaven. Hallelujah. And we can take our situations. We can take our circumstances. So, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. This this problem right here, this, this, this situation right here, Holy Spirit said, Take it to the throne. Take it right into the throne room. Lay it down. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Plead the, the, the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Stand in that gap. You don't have to take communion every day. I'm not saying that. No, I am not. Oh, but by faith. Hallelujah. We can go right into the throne room of our heavenly father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. To find the grace that we need. Hallelujah. He promised us one of my favorite. Uh, it's becoming, uh, it's new to me. Uh, and, and so I can't quote exactly where it is in this moment. I don't have my card. But it says, God is able to make all grace abound toward us. And when it says he's able, I grab it. I say, okay, Father God, you're able. So I'm believing you to do just that for me. Make all grace abound toward me. All grace so that in all I'm always having all sufficiency in all things. Hallelujah. I repeat that. So that I'm always having all sufficiency in all things. I'm going to say it one more time. Make all grace abound to me, Father God. Thank you for doing that. So that I'm always having all sufficiency in all things so that I can bear fruit. Oh, in every one of my good works. Thank you, Lord God. I thank him. Hallelujah. I thank you. That has become a gem for me. I try to say it every day. Hallelujah. Thank you. That gets me excited in my spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We need to cultivate our spirituality, our spiritual mindfulness with the word of God. And so uh, let us move now. I want to pray uh, um, a little uh, because coronavirus is, uh, is, is still closing down schools and uh, campuses and 
uh, um, we thankful thankful to God for the progress that's being made. But oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, I just feel led by the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, to pray uh, just a shortened version of the corona, uh, this, this prayer, and I really like this prayer, hallelujah, thank you, God, because it... Um, it is so, I mean, somebody that really knows about uh, the, the, um, the, the, biolo the biological characteristics of the coronavirus. Uh, so I will not share it in detail, but enough of it so that we will be reminded, hallelujah, Father God, thank you, Lord. Thank you for this. We come before you and we renounce and we repent for our generational line and for ourselves. Hallelujah. We renounce, hallelujah, and repent for our generational line and for ourselves and for all of us who have opened the door, hallelujah, to the coronavirus and any other viral epidemic through fear. There's the enemy right there. Fear, hallelujah. We open the door through fear. Lord, we repent for opening the door for, through fear. And we acknowledge your truth that, number one, your perfect love casts out fear. But there have been times, Father God, we admit, hallelujah, we surrender. When we have not trusted in that love, your perfect love casts out fear. Hallelujah, and you love us perfectly. You gave, you, you didn't even spare Jesus. You gave your only begotten son so we could have a right to the tree of life. Hallelujah, and that includes not being fearful. Number two, we Acknowledge your truth that your sacrifice on the cross is sufficient for our healing. Hallelujah. I had a morning, and it's the only morning I had. When I tell you, saints, I threw up so many times. I have never said this, acknowledged it to even any one of my friends, but I feel led of the Holy Spirit to say it now. I threw up. And, and I said, oh, my God, I took, uh, in my mind, I just said, oh, I took my supplements on an empty stomach, and it made me sick. But, but to me, it was, it, the, the, the throwing up was so, I threw up so many times, it was like, to me, it was like, there was more to it than that. But when I tell you that by 12 o'clock, I did not throw up again, I did not have another symptom, and this was... I want to say three months ago, at least. It might have been in May that this happened. And, you know, I'm thinking of it. I say, you know what? That was probably Corona, but God kicked it out. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you, God is exactly who he says he is. And I pray Psalm 91. I keep myself. I try to keep myself uh, 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 in close enough relationship with God, I, I just, in, and I just, I, all I know is, I believe he did that for me. So I want to encourage you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I thank God for that. I believe it's a testimony. It might encourage somebody. And so he, he said, Lord, I acknowledge your truth that you have told us not to be afraid and you are with us. I didn't go to a place of fear. I didn't go, I, I, and I don't remember specifically what I did. I don't know, say, well, oh, I turn on my, I pray every day, but I can tell you it lasted till about 1130 or so. I never, I, I never told anyone, but I'm telling you now because that devil is a big old liar. God does not want us to be fearful. His agenda is to create fear so that he can distract us and even preempt God's righteous agenda for us in our lives. Hallelujah. He wants us so distracted with fear and worry and all that that we miss the joy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, that we could be having. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So, Lord Jesus, we ask you to cause your blood to encaps. Forgive me. We ask you to cause your blood to encapsulate every cell in my body. And sometimes I like to say, in this body right here, cause your blood to encapsulate every single cell. And none of us can imagine how many cells we have. Hallelujah. But, but here, 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 this is what I really like. It says, not only physically in my earth suit, not only 
cause your blood to encapsulate every cell in my, my earth suit, my physical body that's not going to leave here and go into eternity with me, but also my soul. Encapsulate every aspect and right down to the, um, I forget the scientific word, uh, it'll come to me, uh, but our, our, our thinking, our choices, and, and, our, and our feelings in our different situations and relational contexts. Hallelujah. Cause your blood, hallelujah, to encapsulate every single minute, the minutest component, component, and not only our physical bodies and our souls, but also our spirit. Lord Jesus, thank you for encapsulating every aspect of my spirit. My, my my heart, Lord God, all that's within me. Psalms 103 says, bless the Lord, O my soul, all that is within me. And the Lord has led me. Yes, when you when you say you're going to bless God in with your soul and how you think and the choices you make and 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 and, and the feelings that you allow to yourself to uh, to bask in. But it says, and all that is within me. So. So, so I said, okay, what's in me? I have a subconscious. Bless the Lord, my so subconscious. Bless it. Because subconscious does not operate on a conscious level. And we don't always know what's going on unless we can learn to, to practice that. And we're learning to be more spiritual beings. So our subconscious, our spirit, and our hearts. And our hearts hearts. Hallelujah. Thank you. Lord. Those are the things within us. That's why I bring that specifically to your attention. So yes, we, we are, we're inspired to pray against the spirit of fear, against the coronavirus. But saints, there's more at stake than a physically sick body. The enemy is trying to take us out, get us off our assignment so that we can't deal with his agenda. And I say, all of those who are praying with me right now, hallelujah. God has a work for us. Hallelujah. He is equipping our hands to war and our fingers to fight. He is encouraging us to put on his whole armor so that we can withstand against the wiles of the devil. And having done all, to still stand with our loins girt about with truth, with the breastplate front and back of Jesus' righteousness. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Our feet, ha, ah, happy feet. Lovely on the mountain are those that bring good, the good news of the gospel. We have feet shod with the preparation. Hallelujah. We don't wait till something happens. We say, oh, oh what's, what's the gospel? Oh, no. We, we, our feet are shod. We got the shoes on. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. They're spiritual shoes. I sleep in mine. Hallelujah. We got to be ready to hit the ground running in the spirit. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit might t tap you on your shoulder uh, uh, like he did Ezekiel. I don't know if Ezekiel, it doesn't say what time of day or whatever it was. It's, it was in the spirit. And a lot of times God will wake us up. Hallelujah. And be right there in our faces when we open our eyes at three or four o'clock in the morning. He'll be right there. And he may. Hallelujah. Don't be surprised. Especially if you have gone ahead and you are pressing into the Lord. You are pressing toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God. In Christ Jesus, you are pressing. Hallelujah. You don't just do it on Sunday morning when you go to church. Hallelujah. This, I'm talking lifestyle. Hallelujah. We're going to have to do this until we go to the other side. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And I thank him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Please set a watch. Set a watch over our bodies, which is your temple, Holy Spirit. This is the temple that we have, that you have given. And we thank you for the temple, blessing us to, 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 to be careful in, in, in the ways that we must wash in our hands, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I do that. I do it more, way more than I used to, but I'm not crazy either. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. We, 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 we practice the, uh, to, in respect of others, the social distancing. Oh yes, we do. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm in, I'm in New York state and we, every time we go out, when you go out, you, you, even though I, we don't have, uh, uh, you know, our numbers are, are way in control now, but we still have to we still have to wear masks. Hallelujah. You go into a place of business. Hallelujah. You got to have a mask on. Hey, that helps me be safer and it helps others to feel safer. Hallelujah. Even though I, it's very annoying. Hallelujah. Uh, but we, 
we do those things. But we thank you, God, and we ask you to set a watch on us. Hallelujah. These bodies, hallelujah. Our souls, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. And and our spirit and our and our and our, our hearts, Lord God. Set a watch, hallelujah. We can't do it without you, Lord. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for your everlasting protection. Jesus' protection is everlasting. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, I, I was listening to this uh minister this week weekend. And I think he was preaching on uh uh the 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 armor uh, no let's see was it Ezekiel 37 I I I love uh watching different uh um, words that God has given to people that he's got me really interested in. You know, one of the things he said that was really resonated and was interesting to me, he said, you know, he said, people are afraid to die. He said, but when you know the Lord Jesus Christ, he said, the devil is nothing but a gardener. Hallelujah. He's right. That you just transition. You go right into the presence of God. You go, nana, nana, boo, boo. We don't have to be afraid. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Uh, the Lord gave me a poem years ago. I don't have to be afraid as long as he is here, I don't have to be afraid. As long as he is near, as I can look within and see him standing there and see his blood over all my sin, I don't have to care. I don't have to cry no more and never cry again. At least not like I did before King Jesus became my friend. And it goes on. But I'm telling you, I just, I'm, I'm thankful. You know, I, um, I'm thankful uh, uh, for the everlasting protection of the love of our Savior and our Father and for Holy Spirit being here with us, that we are not alone. And I speak life. I speak life and health to my own body. I, I speak life and health to your body. Hallelujah. I speak life and health to, to our souls and our spirits. And I claim the promise that I will not fear the terror by night. In Psalm 91, I know you recognize it. I will not fear the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that walks in darkness. It's out there walking in the darkness here. Nor the destruction wasting at noonday. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A thousand shall fall at my side. Maybe 10,000 at my right hand. But it will not come nigh me. Hallelujah. won't get in here. Or, uh, won't, it won't get in. I will only look with my eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. I will only see it with my eyes because I have made the Lord my, my dwelling place. I've made him. I have made him my refuge. Psalm 91 says at the beginning, uh, uh, I, will, uh, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge. I will say it. Hallelujah. But as I've encouraged you to do, as we've been digging deep into the word, you say it and say it and say it and say it. And one day you wake up and you realize, oh, I'm, I have made, I'm there. He is my refuge. Hallelujah. That's the place I run to if the enemy tries to make me scared. The Lord is my refuge and my habitation. I do it all the time. I don't need to be a, 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 a if, if I have to do it afraid, I do it afraid. But uh, but it's like we don't have to be afraid. The um, It says, I have made the Lord my dwelling place, the most high, my refuge. No evil, no evil is even allowed to befall me. God won't let it. He didn't let me come down with coronavirus. Hallelujah. The enemy tried. He tried. You got to give the devil credit. He will. And he'll lead. You resist him. He, he, he'll pack up his little stuff and go if you're serious about resisting, but don't think he won't come back. So I, that's why I got, I got the coronavirus prayer here again. I'm being obedient to the Lord. No plague shall come near my tent. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord this morning. Don't you, don't you feel the joy in your spirit? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. God is so good to us. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Woo. Time is really rolling. Hallelujah. I, I just also wanted to, um, uh, hallelujah, issue a, a divine restraining order. I just feel led of the Lord to do that as well because of uh, uh, the criticalness of, of, of the hour. And, and um, I have uh, became a, a student of the, the different teachings on the courts of heaven 
about five years ago. And so I, I just, uh, it's, it's a part of my, I'm going to show you this. You see that? It says spiritual warfare. And it says two warring hands, 10 fighting fingers, Psalms 144 and 1. In Psalms 144 and 1, let me see if I can just go there really quickly. Psalms 144, it's just that one verse. I just want to read it. I do know it by heart. It says, I, wait, wait, so, okay. Bless the Lord, my strength. When you think of warfare and you think of the armor of God, he said you got to put the whole armor on. Well, right here in verse 144 and 1, it says, Bless the Lord, my strength. We cannot do this without the strength of God. And if we will do it and learn, we don't have to be perfect at any of this stuff, but we need to be uh, 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 about the business of, you. it's like anything. If you, if you want to have a fit body, you have to exercise, don't you? Well, we want to exercise our own abilities to practice. Hallelujah. Not be, um, uh, hear the word of God. We need to practice doing it. Hallelujah. If we don't practice doing the word, we're deceiving ourselves. And you want to take time deceiving yourself, then you're different from me. I, I really don't want to do that. And, and I don't know about you. I noticed the devil is pretty mad with me right now. And so, uh, it says, bless the Lord, my strength, which teaches my hands to what? He teaches my hands to war and my fingers to fight. And I have referenced Psalms 144 before I will continue to because the Lord is teaching me that. And there I draw uh, my two hands I have blanks there to encourage those that God blesses to me to be before that you would write in your hands, your own hands, the strategies that he has given, that you recognize that he has given you. Because what happens is, hallelujah, we can't wait for the need for battle to come. We need, like we need to have our feet shod already with the preparation of the gospel of peace. We need to be prayed and know what our uh, fighting fingers, what what are those uh, uh, warfare strategies that we we know, hallelujah, we may be more experienced than some than others, hallelujah, but we want to make sure, hallelujah, thank you, Lord. So I realized, I said, oh my God, the two hands, like I said, well, I really, I sometimes I said, well, I think I would put as far as like God's hand, God's right hand in his holy, and I imagine God's hand, Lord, my hand being in his hand, and I fight, hallelujah, and, and he fights for me, because that right hand of God, oh man, that thing is something else, and then there's a lot of scriptures, because I've looked them up, I've studied, there's, there's, there's his hand, all the way it doesn't designate, and there's that right hand, and oh man, I imagine I'm warring with both of them. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He is the glory and the lift of my head. And I thank him. Hallelujah. We have to be more mindful of these things. We have to encourage ourselves in the Lord. We have to make sure that our loins are girt about with the truth that is of the word of God. And the only way to do that, hallelujah, is be covenant keeping, commandment remembering doers of the word of God. And so, I just wanted to uh, uh, pray those, um, just make you mindful of that. Uh, uh, if you haven't done it, it, it's really a wonderful growth exercise. You may have a, a reflection journal. Um, and I just, I don't know if I have, I'm not going to try to find one now, but I take little spiral bound notebooks and I just designate each, you know, for something that I know I want to be more organized about. And so, my uh, praying the scriptures, hallelujah. That's what I do here on the Black Women Empowered uh, uh, platform. I say, uh, uh, t just teaching us to, uh, uh, and, and, and that's what I'm about, is, is praying the scriptures. Pray them. Pray Psalms 91. Pray Hannah's prayer. Pray it. Pray uh, uh, um, 
uh, Psalms 103 about his benefits. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. When I prayed his benefits, I found out there's his benefits that for those that uh, are in, um, believers in the Lord. And then there are the benefits. There's a deeper dimension, a higher dimension of benefits for, people, for, those, for believers that fear him. And then it gives you the criteria, hallelujah, for, for those that fear him. They keep his covenant. Those that fear God, they keep his covenant and they uh, 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 they do his commandments. So I'm saying, oh, okay, all right. And then when you look at the benefits, it's, it's a whole different dimension from the ones that come before that. So, I mean, that, though, these are the kinds of uh, 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 impacts that... Uh, um, I find exciting, and I I just want to encourage you. You can go back uh, and and look at some of my lessons on um, uh, sessions on Psalms one hundred three. So uh, today, what I want to do is begin to um, let me get my language right here. I I'm calling it God's something like God's agent of God's. We are uh, agents of God's hand. Uh, and and we pray for um, uh, bones, God's assignment, and then bones. We wait, let me get it straight now. God's armor. We put on the whole armor of God so that we can uh, 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 withstand in the evil day. And having done all to to stand. So if, if we're going to wear God's armor, which He says we need it. He's, if he says I need it, then I might not feel like I have it all today, but I'm after it. Go, oh, okay, I I I, I need it. So if I if I want to wear God's armor, hallelujah, then I have to uh, uh, also uh, learn to pray the scriptures. And with Psalms, uh, Ezekiel 37, it's about God's hand being on us and giving us an assignment, like He did Ezekiel. So we put on His whole armor because we realize we're intercessors. Uh, uh, we may realize that we're even a remnant. So there, there's not going to be a whole, whole lot of people like you around that you know because you're part of the remnant. Hallelujah. You take some of this a little bit more seriously than a lot of people. Uh, and so uh, as uh, if we're going to put on the whole armor of God, thank you, God, so that we are ready for when he wants to put his hand on us and, and give us an assignment in a valley that's full of bones, hallelujah, in the spirit. The assignment is in the spirit, but the reality of the realm is a very real situation. But he, God has people. He works through us. We, we with our hands, right? Our hands become his hands. Our focus, our prayers, and like with, with Ezekiel, when uh, uh, we... If we answer the call and we say, he, and and he we, he makes us aware of a, a a particular situation, circumstance, whatever that he wants us to take on as an assignment. And when we say, "Lord, you're sovereign," Hallelujah, I trust you. When when Ezekiel said, "Sovereign Lord," to me he was saying, "I trust you, I trust you." And then God said, "Well, then prophesy." And he told Ezekiel exactly what to say. Hallelujah. How exactly what to say to prophesy. And, and, and all I'm doing is say, oh, okay, I see a model. When I look at Ezekiel 37, this was years ago, I see a model and I say, oh God, I want to make, I want my prayers to make a difference. I want to be one of those individuals who is bold enough and trusting enough in you, hallelujah, to prophesy as I feel led to prophesy in the spirit. Hallelujah. And I'm just thankful to the Lord for that. Hallelujah. And I thank him. I thank him. I thank him. I want to um, um, uh, take kind of, it, it's like the armor of God and the, the bones, breath, and brethren. These have been in the last probably six, seven, I don't know, a bunch of weeks now. These have been what I have been focusing on um, and and prophesying, like Ezekiel said. So, yeah, I want God's armor on because I'm his soldier. I'm I'm his watchman. I'm, I'm an intercessor. Yes, I am. And um, uh, I... It's, to me, it's just reasonable to ex expect that he's going to give you something 
uh, to do. And it may not be something that will make you famous. It may not. It uh, When Ezekiel prophesied, it doesn't say he ran all in front of people and, and we'll see. It doesn't say that. Uh, uh, we, it, we, we may have to give that our attention in, uh, in, in the spirit, but I can tell you, if you follow the model of Ezekiel 37, when Ezekiel prophesied as God commanded him, he did not prophesy and then, and then run off from the situation that if you, you look at it, he stayed there and he was, uh, he was aware of the, um, uh, when he prophesied as God commanded, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus, said the sovereign Lord, I will cause breath. I'll cause the breath to enter into you. He's speaking as though God is speaking out of his mouth. I will cause breath to enter into you and you shall be, you shall live. And then, and then right away, change started manifesting in the physical realm. He said, there was a noise and a shaking. Hallelujah. So there was upheaval. And, oh, and I don't know about you, but when we start praying and things start, start turning upside down instead of right side up, we go, oh, I, then you want to uh, tempt it. I, I, I'm going to admit it, it, it can get hot and heavy. You, you want to run away, but we are not to run from the sake of shaking. And we don't see anything in Ezekiel 37 that says Ezekiel ran when the noise and the shaking started to occur. Uh, um, and, 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 uh, and when I when I think of shaking, I kind of think of kind of an earthquake when you see on TV cabinets start falling to the side, and sometimes the ground will, will, will break up. And and but so change when change begins to occur, it can can get ugly before uh, uh, when it says and, and then the bones start they came together, so the connections begin to occur, and then the 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 tendons which which. And the and the flesh came up on it. Things started uh, 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 looking more like uh, uh, like normal instead of being all spread out, spread out, separated, and and so dry. It looked like you could tell even what it used to be. Um, and and so we we can expect to see change that is positive, but it may not be from the beginning. And and the only way we're going to know is to continue. Even as we prophesy, as God commands, we need to continue to pray. That's one way I know I, Ezekiel had to have stayed engaged as a as 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 a person of of prayer, uh, because when he realized that they everything came together and they even had skin over and said it looked like people again, and 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 I you know I know that uh, uh, biblical scholars say it represented uh, Israel being sent out. In different places all over the world, they were scattered everywhere. But I'm using the model to refer to uh, to help us in our modern day challenges and context. Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord, for that. Hallelujah! And so when when Ezekiel stayed connected, and he and then God said, because Ezekiel was right there, wasn't he? He might not have been in the face of the people, but he might have been. He might have got uh, the Holy Spirit might have because he took Ezekiel out in the spirit and, and showed him the situation. He knew exactly what he he was into. He might have stayed engaged and been right there, uh, 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 in, engaged in the context. But I, I bet he wasn't running around trying to be all extra seen and everything. If he needed to prophesy to somebody or uh, to a certain situation, he either did it in the spirit before the Lord, or sometimes God will cause you to prophesy right where you are in a situation with people. He did it, and then God said, when he, when he realized they can't do anything else, they they come together, they look better, but but they can't do anything. Then God said, then prophesy to the wind. Prophesy. Come from the four winds, O oh, breath, and breathe on the slain that they may live. And Ezekiel again, come fully obedient. He's praying. He's there. He prophesied to the wind. Come from the four winds. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And I went over, and, and as I pressed into it and got interested, I said, ooh, the four winds. Oh, and then I found out the, the, the spirit of the north is God's presence. Hallelujah. When he was praying for the wind, the, the breath of God to come on those bones, you're praying for God's presence to come. Hallelujah. And to manifest. And, and the spirit of the south is a spirit of, 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 uh, of prosperity. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And, and, and then the spirit of the east is the, the spirit of unrecognized things get so, so bad. And we can think about our country, certain cities right now where they, 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 the situation is more out of control than sometimes the media will allow the people uh, who, who watch certain ones, that it will, will uh, allow them to, um, to fully realize. But so 
We can pray, hallelujah, that deception will be uh, 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 ex exposed, hallelujah, and that, that God will, hallelujah, thank you, Lord, for the east wind, hallelujah, breathe, hallelujah, on us where we've been slain as a culture and a society, breathe on us, hallelujah, thank you, in the name of Jesus, where racism has indeed been systemic, but oh God, don't let it be an excuse, hallelujah, spirit of the west, Come in the spirit of restoration. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Spirit of restoration. Deliver us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You, you said in Psalms 103, you would deliver our lives from destruction, Lord God. Deliver us, Lord God. So when you said, come from the four winds, breathe on the situation, Lord God. You got me here praying. You showed me the context of it, Lord God. Hallelujah. You know, hallelujah, that I, I, I want to do just what you tell me to do. And so prophesy and lo and behold next thing we know in the ezekiel 37 scenario they 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 were standing up hallelujah and 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 they were in unity hallelujah they said as an exceeding great army hallelujah. so that means they had a unity of purpose uh along some regard so uh in a situation things begin to straighten up life returns hallelujah life returns and the evidence that that one of god's servants i believe this is what i'm believe that he at least where i am i'm looking for people not blame shifting when when i'm praying in a situation hallelujah and people stop blame shifting i know that's god i know that's god if i prophesy as god commands me as i feel led even if i don't feel like i do it all extra right every time i'm still doing the best i know and i'm prophesying as god commands me tell say something in the situation hallelujah that is uh 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 not just to be uh, um, what do they call it, cancel culture. But in the face of cancel culture, uh, talking to people that that don't have the same necessary view as I do, but not being afraid to speak truth to them in love and wanting to understand their perspective. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Not letting the devil punk us out of giving up on people, uh, into giving up on people because they have a certain view that we know maybe not be scriptural or whatever, but, but, but be caring and loving so that sometimes God will show us things about them that, that, that we can pray for because we are supposed to pray for if, if they're on the enemy side, as far as we believe and know, then we are to pray. Hallelujah. God is a God of mercy in the name of Jesus. The enemy doesn't want us to know the actual hearts and feelings of some of the people, but we, hallelujah, we are called according to the purposes of God. And so God will give us the, the, the bowels of compassion, hallelujah, to reach across, hallelujah, thank you, Lord, uh, uh, oppositional belief lines and, and, and grant us the grace I pray and I do believe, hallelujah, because I, I don't believe God is calling me to, uh, to be abused, thank you, Lord, but if, but if, if but I would certainly, uh, feel led, hallelujah, I do feel led, and I, it's something that, that I'm feeling led to, to press into, that I, I'm not necessarily always that comfortable with, but reaching out, uh, uh, and, and, and saying, I want to listen, hallelujah, uh, listen with respect to me, uh, as well, and, and just not allow people to go to a place that they may feel that they have a right, because they think they're right, to just talk to you any kind of way, no, 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 no. And so we learn to stand and having done all to stand and withstand. Hallelujah. We have to withstand. And to me, when I think of withstand, I got to stand in, like you said, I got to stay there in the situation and withstand. Thank you, Lord. And withstand. And so that when everything is done, I'm still standing. I'm still standing for the Lord. Hallelujah. More equipped, more trusting the Lord more than ever. And then, and watched the change, the shame, the blame shifting stop. And people begin to say, oh, you know, um, they can, God can then take them to the next level. And because when people stop blame shifting, then hallelujah, thank you. Lord, God called them in Ezekiel 37. He called them his people. When they stopped blame shifting, they were standing up and they had breath in them. Then he started calling him and told Ezekiel to prophesy to him again. Tell them, hallelujah, I'll open up their graves and bring them up out of their graves. Graves, I believe, meaning their issues. I'll bring them out. Hallelujah. Tell them. Good news. I'll bring them out. And we can see and watch God, hallelujah, change situations and context and make them better. Because our prayers matter, saints. Our prayers matter. Our compassion matters. Our love it matters in the in in the in God's God's economy and 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 so we 
uh, uh, he, he, he tells us we prophesy and he'll open up his and he'll bring them into the promised land. Hallelujah. So to me, when it says promised land, I, that spells resolution to me. There is some level of rev resolution that is, is very likely to be miraculous in nature that only God can do. Hallelujah. Only God can make people stop blaming uh, uh, one another. Hallelujah. But we have to humble ourselves. Hallelujah. And say, God, you need, will you help us? Help us for, for your name's sake, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm your servant. I'm, I'm, I'm in this because I feel like you have me praying, Lord God. Lord, let me see. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. The, the, the kind of fruit in my good works that Ezekiel saw. Hallelujah. When, when you had him prophesy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Because he said he would put his spirit. Then he said, at the end, to me, this is God's over the top. This is God's exceeding abundance above we would even ask or think. He said he would put his spirit in them. That's a good spirit, isn't it? He would put his spirit in them and 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 put them in their own land. Woo-wee. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you. So armor of God in, in Ezekiel 37, they, to me. I, I I see a connection. I really, I think one equips and positions you for the next. Hallelujah. And I'm too excited about that. And I thank the Lord for uh, the opportunity. Hallelujah. To, to, to move on. I, I'm, 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 I think I'm going to, uh, to wait next week. Because uh, 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 I, I think we've just come to a good place uh, uh, in just almost, um, we did uh, the whole arm of God and then we moved, transitioned into Ezekiel 37. And what I tried to do today, uh, um, my heart and my goal was to uh, to show how uh, they're, they're really not separate. It's like, it, it, it's engagement, it's preparation, it's it, it's being used of the Lord. Hallelujah. Being excited. Hallelujah. Like when Hannah prays, she says, my heart, my heart rejoices in the Lord. Hallelujah. When I see, oh God, when you see and you pray and you see it makes a difference. God is doing that, saints. He did it for me yesterday. I anointed, I prayed. Hallelujah. I walked around. Hallelujah. Seven is the number for completion. Eight is the number for new for bent beginning. Sometimes I walk around in the situational context a certain number of times because that's like my demonstrating my faith and taking authority in the situation. Let me tell you, just what I asked God for, he made that difference for me. That encourages me to be even bolder today. And so I encourage you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. To... uh to be, hallelujah, thank you, to, to, to wear his whole armor, be determined, hallelujah, to wear his whole armor, hallelujah, have your loins girt about with the, the, the truth, the application of what, what, what's the truth in the situation that you're concerned with, and then have Jesus' breastplate on, front and back, those Roman uh, uh, armor, it was, it covered the whole top half of their bodies, front and back, have, this is Jesus protecting our hearts, hallelujah, thank you, Lord, don't let the devil Tear my soul, Lord God, that Jesus, and then and then my feet, Hallelujah! I'm ready, Hallelujah! I got the three halves. I I, I got my my girdle, I got my breastplate, and I got my my my, my gospel shoes on, huh? And I'm not just preaching the gospel and sharing it. I'm living it, Hallelujah! By the grace of the Holy Spirit, thank you, Lord, day by day, Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord. So I got the three halves, and then. I got the three takes. I got to take that shield of faith, Hallelujah! Above all, Paul said. Take the shield of faith, hallelujah, because the devil going to be shooting darts at you. You can count on it. He will take your shield of faith, hallelujah. You're in the word, and you quench the fiery darts of the enemy. His darts of fire, they will burn you. He will hurt you. The devil, he watches you. He's watching all of us. He will hurt you. He knows how to hurt you, too. But we quench the fiery darts of the enemy, hallelujah. Thank you, God. And then, uh, and then you also take the helmet of salvation, cover you you your your saving hope hallelujah thank you lord your thoughts and 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 all that and your the helmet of salvation hallelujah thank you lord and then the sword of the spirit which is the word of god the god's holy word 
and we take that word and we take it unto and into ourselves, hallelujah, so that we have, we are fully equipped, withstand and having done all, hallelujah, hallelujah, victory, victory is still standing. Only you're standing, hallelujah, thank you, Lord. You're standing, hallelujah, with answers to your prayers. You're standing, hallelujah, with people realizing, oh, God did that, hallelujah. I, I thought you were kind of crazy at the beginning, but, but when their lives really begin to change and God begins to change those hearts, and they realize that this is the model of Ezekiel 37, that God did it. He didn't just do it. He's the one that said it. When he was speaking through your lips, he was the one. That, and they realized God was the one that, and that God loves them and that God cares about them and that he used someone, flesh and blood, just like them. Hallelujah. That's trying to live more and more and more in the spirit. Hallelujah. Not in the flesh. Oh, God, I thank you today. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I'm going to be turning. Hallelujah. Thank you. Otherwise, by the Spirit, Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord God. Going to be looking at some different types of prayer, and I'm I'm just going to continue probably with principles and practices that are are from uh, God's grace, His armor, His uh, uh, um, His uh, His hand, and being on us to prophesy, 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 prophesy. As I move forward, I'm not throwing anything away. I'm bringing everything that it will will apply. So what the Lord says, I wants me to focus on this. I'm, I'm bringing it all because that's how that's how we learn. Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord. And so, uh, if you if you have a prayer request, Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord. Submit it to uh, uh, on the, uh, go to on on the website the Black Women in www.blackwomenempowered.org, and you can either uh, make a prayer request or you could do both. Um, or uh and, or and uh, prayer requests and or give give a donation if if you would so uh, appreciate doing that and if there's anyone hallelujah in a place right now hallelujah where they want to give their lives to the Lord I just want to just just pray uh, uh with me hallelujah thank you Lord Father God. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for this time, Lord. We thank you that it has, hallelujah, blessed our souls, Lord, that it has been a time where you have quickened us by your spirit, hallelujah, to believe that we are your children. And and and, and, and Lord, if, if those of us who are not, Lord God, I thank you uh, for blessing us right now to uh, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And 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 to forgive us of our sins and 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 Lord Jesus in and we accept, hallelujah, thank you, Lord, that you are God's son and that God raised you from the dead. Hallelujah. He put you, Jesus, at his right hand. And I want to be there with you. And I ask you, Lord, to forgive me of my sins. Hallelujah. And I accept, hallelujah, you as my Lord and Savior, Lord Jesus. Dr. Patricia, she seemed like she just wants uh, and believes that you are a very special God in the way you love us. And Lord, I ask you to forgive me and help me in my life, Lord God, to be the blessing that you would have me to be in this hour, Lord. I see things around me, and I don't know what to do, Lord. Teach me how to pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Teach me how to be in community, Lord. Teach me how to, to, to dig into your word, Lord God, and get it down on the inside of me and live a life, hallelujah, that'll be pleasing in your sight so I hear you say, hallelujah, when I've done all I can do, hallelujah, when I I hear you say, well done. I want to hear you say, my good and faithful servant. Lord, well done. Thank you for being with me. And I do look forward to being with you again on next week. Blessings, hallelujah, in the mighty and the matchless name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. May you experience marvels of mercy, hallelujah, wonders of wisdom, and extraordinary manifestations.